everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing an ulta haul for you guys so i was on the ulta website just kind of browsing around and i saw some things that i i wanted so i put them in my basket and i checked out so now i'm going to do a haul uh i didn't get a whole lot i just got you know some halloween items I know you're thinking Halloween items from Ulta. How did you do that? Okay, so press on nails um, is actually what I got from Halloween. And then I found some a pallet that I didn't have and then some new items because Ulta is now carrying KVD Vegan Beauty. Who knew that? I didn't. Um, I went off of an Ulta buying spree for a while. I, I stopped buying from Ulta, so no particular reason just because I was spending way too much money. So... I'm going to show you everything I bought. Okay. First things first is I bought three sets of Kiss Press On Nails. Now, Halloween time is my favorite time of year. So, I picked up three sets of Press On Nails. And I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed in them because these, the claw nails, I love. But these kind of curve. I'm not into the curvy claw nails. Um, but these are in... Mmm... Hang on. Oh. Oh, these are extra long. That could be why they're curved. Um, I don't know. This doesn't say. Oh, Caitlin, get your crap together. Okay, this doesn't say what kind they are, but they're fall something nails. They're... I don't, why doesn't it say on here? It should, it should say. It says it somewhere on here. I'm just looking over it. No, it doesn't say it. Okay. So, fall nails, it's supposed to be like gold glitter, marbly type um, effect with some foil. I mean, they're cute, but they kind of curve, you know. Next ones that I got are, they remind me, I don't know why, but they remind me of like a cemetery. I guess because of all the gray. But it's matte gray nails with um, marbled, and then it's also got a cross on the marble, and then silver glitter. These are really cute. These are the coffin shaped nails, and I actually really like these. And they all glow in the dark, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they glow in the dark. Then the last set that I got is like a cemetery scene with a haunted house. And these are actually going to be perfect. These are kind of long. I don't know if I'll actually be able to wear these because I type on a keyboard at work. And I can barely type as it is now. So, But these are cute. I can probably get by with these. But I really like those. So I bought those. And these were all $7.99 a piece. Um, kind of expensive for press on nails. But... Your girl's got to do what your girl's got to do for Halloween stuff, right? Right. So, next thing that I got is this Makeup Revolution Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Now, I heard someone rave about this. I can't remember who it was on TikTok about how this was just the best liquid liner. And if your eyes water, this is the kind of liner you need. So, I'm going to put it to the test. If you guys want a review or a wear test on this, let me know and I'll do it because I haven't tried it yet. And it's got the felt tip on it. Okay, so my mom called. I don't know what I don't know what you got. But if you want me to do a wear test on this or anything like that, let me know. Next thing that I got is this. Oh, this was like six dollars. Next thing I got is a shake primer. Okay, so this was a very interesting concept, so that's why I got it. And honestly, it looks a lot bigger online, not gonna lie. But after I saw it, like in all of its whatever, I kind of get it. So you're supposed to shake it. Oh, I shouldn't have sh shooken it, but it was, like, divided in between, like, white and black, and honestly, the white and black aesthetic, I'm kind of digging it. I, I should probably tell you what this is. Um, It's the Shake Primer. It's a high-impact shadow primer from Kat Von D Beauty, and it's got a little push at the bottom, so all you have to do is you have to shake it, and then you'll open it, push the bottom, and it'll dispense some primer in your hand. Now, is this not a pretty cool concept? So, if you guys want a video on this, uh, again, a wear test on this, how it does with shadow, anything like that, let me know. And I would love to do a video on, on it. I think this was like $22. Kind of, kind of steep. But for Kat Von D, we will. Because I don't care what anybody says. 
she she's good at what she does. Next is this Maddie Ziegler, The Imagination Palette by Morphe. So, I saw this palette and I was like, mm, okay, so I've kind of got the um, other palette that's kind of like this one that's got all the pastels in it. And then I got to thinking a little bit more about it and why not, why not just buy it? Why not? And the packaging is super cute and I love how it's got her actual eye look. You can see it's got her actual eye look on the packaging. I think that's a very nice touch. <clears throat> and it's got like, I don't know if maybe she drew that or what, but I think that's really cool. But the palette itself, let's just look at it. It's a mix between neutrals and brights, which I really like. You know, I like my fair share of bright shades. Plus the embossing on these shadows are pretty cool. So, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this palette, let me know. This, I think, was $20? But I'm not really sure. So, yeah. I mean, I like this palette. I've got several like it, so I definitely didn't need it. But it was one of those, like, you know, why not? Why, why the heck not? And I'm excited to see the formula of most of these shadows. So, yeah, if you guys want a video on this palette, just let me know. And my hair's not greasy, guys. I promise. I just got out of the shower. It's it's still wet. So, if you guys did like this video, please give me a like. Comment down below for more video it is. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that post notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay cool and be you. Bye!